Milwaukee Tool changed the game when they released their new M18 inflator. Not only is this guy rated from 0 to 150 PSI, like all the other ones are out there, this one actually performs and holds up to what it says it's going to do, and it does it without creating a lot of heat, and the duty cycle allows it to be used in a commercial type market where you're working on medium duty trucks. You have those larger tires that need to be filled up fairly quickly. And I'll tell you, this guy absolutely rocks. We're going to go through it top to bottom. Stay tuned. The first test I did is connecting this M18 inflator up to our Jeep, which is a 35 by 12 and a half inch tire. I only needed to go up two PSI here, wasn't a big deal, but I was able to do that in literally seconds. It was absolutely amazing. And that has a lot of volume inside that tire. So it was very surprising as I cruised around and did all those tires, it took very, very little time, which is unlike many of the other inflators on the market. Once I saw the speed of the M18 inflator, I really wanted to portray that to you guys so you could see how much of a difference there is between the M18 and the M12. I hooked the M18 up to one tire on our trailer and the M12 up to another. I gave the M12 the advantage by starting it first. We're going from 44 PSI to 50. Flat out, the M18 did it in 15 seconds and the M12 took 44 seconds for it to actually complete six PSI in a standard trailer tire. This M18 is so impressive at this lower PSI. I wanted to try it out at more of a medium duty truck tire. So we went to the front tires on our F450. They were sitting at 71 PSI and I wanted to take them up to 80. The M18 did that in 40 seconds. That was absolutely amazing. That would have taken the full duty cycle on the M12 to just to do that with one tire. The M12 has a duty cycle of approximately five minutes and then you need it to rest for 10 minutes. The duty cycle on the M18 is 20 minutes and then it needs to rest for 40. So to test that duty cycle and to put this to use in more of a medium duty application, we came back to the shop and we lowered all the tires on our heavy duty trailer down to 50. So we're going from 50 to 75 PSI. The first tire we did a check on, we wanted to see how long it would take. And it was approximately three minutes, 23 seconds to go from 50 to 75 PSI. That's not bad considering this is a larger tire and considering the fact that that is a larger fill range than what we've seen in the past. Still very impressive. When you look at that, that would be three quarters of the duty cycle of the M12. And it's pretty amazing when you see how fast this actually goes in. Now we're using an eight amp hour battery inside this guy. And as we continued to fill, they got slower and slower. So the last tire actually took closer to five minutes but we were at the end of that battery. So it's understandable. It was also getting hotter, so we had the fan running on the inside and we just wanted to check it for some of its thermal issues that you could have with some of the other inflators. This was very, very impressive. You can hear they have a fan going here. Now that fan is something that's keeping this whole thing cool, which is absolutely awesome because heat is what destroys most of these. So if you hear that fan running, don't unplug your battery, let it cool. So we have hit our duty cycle basically on the last tire here and a combination of the rest of them. We've got some heat going, not that it's horrible. Uh, we're at 166 on the hose. If we go up 115 on the metal part that goes in. 113 there it's definitely warmer as we get closer 153 you can hear the fan just turned off which i think that fan is something that really saves this and if you look through it's hot on the inside there's no doubt there we're seeing some hot points again that's mostly the hose going out battery is not bad Screen isn't bad. 
gets all that compressor. And that's what you don't want to do is overheat things. But I'll tell you what, this is performing excellent. This inflator is just flat out impressive. Not only do you have onboard storage for everything here, you have a very long hose. It doesn't seem like it's going to be, but it fits and works everywhere. You have your press to valve connection here. You have anything if you want to fill up any type of ball. And then you have a valve that you can hook up to this that would just blow into an inflatable type toy. And you can just push this button here and it will manual fill. And if you don't want to manual fill, you can use its memory function, which I have my stuff set up in memory one at 34 PSI, memory two is 36, memory three is 44, memory four is 75. It doesn't matter if the battery comes out on that, you can put that guy back in and your memory settings are all still going to be there. That helps because if you're sitting at zero and you need to go up to 80, you're going to push this plus button and wait for it to go there or you can push this M4 a couple times, get close, and then push the other buttons and go. Once you turn this guy on, it's going to get up to its PSI and it's gonna get close. And it has a technology built into it that it's going to check the PSI occasionally. So it may turn itself off and then turn itself back on to make sure that it is very accurate. It's it's very nice the way it makes sure that you have the correct PSI or anything else that you're looking for in there. If we want to change from PSI to KPA, we just push and hold the units. And then if we push and hold, it'll go to bar, push and hold again, it'll go back to PSI. Turn this guy on, off. Very, very simple to use. You do have a warning here of a temperature light. So if this does get too hot, it will tell you that the temperature is too hot turn it off, let it cool. There's a lot of stuff that's built into this to allow it to be used commercially and it really makes it a nice inflator. This M18 inflator retails bare tool for $169 and if any of you are thinking that's too expensive, for me, with a multitude of tires around, all kinds of different things. This is not gonna be a unit that I'll travel with, but it'll be a unit that I'm gonna have at home or the shop and move back and forth between there. If I'm going on a long trip with large equipment and I have the space, I would definitely take it. And it is definitely worth every penny of that $169. This is a great piece of not only technology, but also a great tool to have around that performs perfectly. I mean, this thing, just changes every bit of what you'd think of any other inflator and it just makes them obsolete. This is fast, it's cool, meaning temperature cool, and it absolutely is accurate. I'm down with that. I absolutely love what Milwaukee did here. I wasn't expecting to see this big of a progress in innovation on inflators. I kind of just expected to see an M18. I questioned why we were gonna have a 12 amp hour battery in here because the duty cycle on these is usually pretty low, but I can see it. If you're in the medium duty market and you're gonna use this for 20 minutes straight, throw a 12 amp hour in there, it's gonna have plenty of power. You run that duty cycle up 20 minutes, let it rest. You probably could get through another 20 minutes with that 12 amp hour and you're set. This thing is ready to rock and roll on the job site. I love it. I love everything about it, even at home. If you wanna have this as a replacement for your air compressor, for filling tires anyway, it will definitely do that. Amazing stuff here. If you're interested in this at all, I highly, highly recommend it. This M12 will still be useful for me because it's small. It's a great form factor that I can throw in my side-by-side. -side. It doesn't take up a lot of space and I'm just happy to have it. I'll deal with the time it takes to fill up a tire because I want something small and compact. There's two different pieces of equipment here, two totally different uses. Milwaukee nailed it. I absolutely love to say that because I don't get to say that all the time. guys. Comments below. Like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.